Patrice, I asked you a question. What is going on here? Why is no one answering me? Eve, what did you mean when you said I was going to go crazy? Go crazy about what? I I'm sorry, Gwen. I, I didn't even notice you were there. Obviously. Didn't I tell you you can't trust the little bitch? She's up to something again, as usual. Oh, and even Pilar isn't jumping in to defend her little Miha. Must be serious. So it is it, Teresa. What are you planning to do this time to hurt my daughter? Please, Dr. Russell, please run the DNA test so I can find out if one of these babies is mine. And if it is, I want Gwen's baby sacrificed to save it. Teresa, you need to answer me. What am I gonna go so crazy about? I want an answer, Teresa. Yes, Teresa. What have you dreamed up this time to drive my daughter mad? What? Actually... It's easy, okay? Dr. Russell and I, we were talking about, about you and how desperate you are to have a baby. And uh, I, I said that I was concerned about how you would feel, you know, if the procedure wasn't successful because it's not 100% foolproof, right, Dr. Russell? No procedure is. Right. There are risks, okay? But I'm willing to take them. But I think that you need to be aware of them, too. See, Dr. Russell said, Gwen, that there's, there's no guarantees. And if that happened, I know you would be very, very upset. And that's what Dr. Russell was saying when she said that, that you would just go crazy. Liar. Look, Gwen, I'm not saying that we shouldn't take the risk. Okay, I'm not saying that we shouldn't do everything we can to make sure one of these babies survives. We should. I mean, we have to. But... As a mother myself, Gwen, I know how hard it's going to be for you to lose even one of these babies. And, and I can't imagine how you would feel if despite this procedure, you lost both of them. Well, I appreciate your concern. I mean, honestly, I'm really touched that you would even think about me during a time like this. So, you're, uh, just worried about Gwen? Well, and the babies, of course. But yes, I'm worried about Gwen, too. Since when? When have you given a damn about Gwen? You don't care about anyone but yourself. I believe her, okay? Just stop. Well, then you are a fool. I told Gwen the truth, Rebecca. You have never told the truth a day in your life. Oh. But now, Eve... On the other hand, you see, she has a reputation to think of. Well, at least what's left of it after the information we found out about her past. But, uh, Eve, you are a doctor. And even though you may not have any personal ethics, you do have to have professional ones. And you have to tell me the truth. So spill it, Eve. What's going on here? What is Teresa up to this time? What is the little alley cat up to this time? I have nothing to add to Teresa's explanation. Nothing to add? What is that supposed to mean? I mean, it sounds like you're running for office. You asked me a question, Rebecca. I answered it. But what is this? One slut defending another? Would you please not talk to Dr. Russell like that? <gasps> okay, she has been very, very kind to Ethan and me throughout this whole ordeal, and she's doing everything she can to save one of these babies. She would never be party to anything that would hurt me. Excuse me! She is also sleeping with my husband. Oh, that has God. nothing to do with the situation here, Rebecca. I suggest you keep your personal feelings about her and Teresa out of this, okay? The most important thing right now is that Teresa has this procedure. Teresa, you're still planning to have the procedure, right? You haven't changed your mind. No, I haven't changed my mind. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to save one of these babies. Okay, then. 
All right, then we have nothing to worry about. Everything is going as planned. Come on. Come on. Teresa, please, you can't go through with this. Gwen and Rebecca know something is going on. They're going to find out that Eve is running these DNA tests, and when they do, they'll figure out why. No, Mama, they're not going to find out. Mira, Teresa, you better pray to the Virgin that they don't, because if they do, they'll kill you. You know, whispering in front of other people is not only extremely rude, but it makes them wonder what you're being so secretive about. is up to something, Gwen. It's written all over her scheming little face. And Eve and Pilar are in cahoots with her. Please start making a difficult situation worse. Well, I, I, I'm just trying to help. If you want to help, try being positive. Try praying that one of my babies survives, okay? It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna work out. They're gonna save one of the babies. It's gonna be wonderful, okay? It'll work out. Come on. Oh, deserting a sinking ship, Pilar? I'm going home to rest. Oh, oh, you mean you're both going to my home? <laughs> you know, we really ought to come up with a uh, group rate for you guys because I. I've kind of lost track of how many of you are squatting there these days. Would you give it a rest, please? Pilar, I apologize for my mother. You know how much Ethan and I care for you, and you are always welcome at our home. Thank you, Gwen. Maybe we should go, too, and give Teresa a chance to rest before the procedure. so long. I thought time was of the essence. It is. I just have a few more tests to do. For what? I have the test packet you requested, Dr. Russell. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, my God. This is an STD test. You're, you're gonna give this to Teresa? You think this little slut here has a sexually transmitted disease? What? Of course not. I, I'm sorry, Dr. Russell. I must have grabbed the wrong packet. I'll be right back. You, you're, you're performing more tests? Dr. Russell, is something else wrong with the babies? No. No, not at all. No, I, w I just wanted Dr. Russell to run as many tests as possible. Because I want to make sure one of these babies survives to term. You know, I'm, I'm going against the church to have this procedure done, so I want to make sure it's successful. Well, it will be. I can feel it. I only wish that we could save both these babies, Gwen. Well, I do too, you know, but but we we can't, and I am always going to grieve for the one that we lose, but at least I'll be able to have one biological child. And for that, Teresa, I am forever grateful to you for what you're doing. Oh, Gwen, please, you aren't really buying this selfless act, are you? I don't want to hear any more of it, okay? We need to, uh, to let Teresa have some time alone to rest. If take good care of her, okay, and of, and of my child. Mother, let's go. We made the right decision, didn't we? Yeah. We've said it's, it's the only chance that one has to survive. And it's gonna work? Just have to pray. Yeah, you should pray. The Teresita is not about to try to pull another fast one. Rebecca, you know, we're both frazzled here. You're really not helping. Yeah, it seems to me I am the only one here who is seeing straight. Can you just stop, please? Sweetheart, I am so tired. I know. Eve, Eve said you could use her couch in her office. Why don't you do that? There is no way I could rest right now. Both of our babies are at risk, and I wouldn't be here if something happened. Honey, listen to me. They're, they're not going to start anything. They're not going to start the procedure until all the tests are done anyway. Well, I mean, I'm exhausted. 
You make sure you come and get me, okay, the minute something happens? I will. I promise. Yeah, well, don't plan on a long nap. Because when Teresa is involved, something is going to happen. Rebecca, enough. It would help if you would try to keep your daughter calm. Well, what else would I do, Ethan? I am her mother. Oh, God. I love you. I love you, too.